If you are an existing user to Flash and you just recently upgraded to CS6, you may be wondering what is new in the software specifically. Well, I will touch on that briefly with this lesson. Now, what I'm on right now is the product information page on the Adobe website. And you can get to that simply by going to adobe.com, locating Flash and clicking on the Flash link. And then if you click on features, you can browse to see the new features for the new version of Flash. Now, the big one is support for HTML5. And again, we won't be touching on that a lot with, or at all, I should say, with this series since that's not the primary focus. The focus is to author for mobile devices. However, just know that if you have used Flash in the past and you were maybe um, limited by the format Flash to use, which was, you know, the Swift files and all that, you can now use HTML5 to expand your reach for your devices. So that's a good thing if you are looking for something like that. We can do a sprite sheet generation, which allows us to, as it says, export symbols and animation sequences to quickly generate sprite sheets. And this is actually good for gaming. Um, and even though it is gaming focused, I'm not sure if we'll be using it a whole lot because again, I kind of like to use more like traditional methods when I'm creating my work in Flash. I've been using Flash for a while, so I kind of have some old school, I guess, sensibilities when it comes to certain things. However, that is there and that can be used if you need to use it, especially if you're animating different things out for your games. And of course we have the platform support for the different devices. And that's of course, what we're focusing mainly on is to export out for Android and iOS devices. And along with that, you also have the Air application creation, which kind of gets bundled with that to allow us to create our games. And then you have the Adobe Air mobile simulation, which we'll be using quite a bit. Um, this allows us to basically simulate a phone so that we can see how our apps are going to act if they were on a phone. And that is very useful since it's hard to replicate exactly how a phone works without actually putting your app on a phone and having to put your app on a phone every time you want to test it would be very cumbersome, not to mention almost impossible, especially if you're using, for instance, the iOS device and you need a certificate from Apple to publish to, you know, your the iTunes store and all that. So that is going to be very useful for us. And finally, there's something called stage 3D targeting, which basically allows us to use some hardware acceleration for 2D content and kind of create some 3D effects. Um, again, we probably won't be touching on that a whole lot. We'll mostly be taking advantage of the new mobile simulator as well as the better compatibility or higher compatibility that Flash CS6 offers with the mobile devices. Now, if I pop down here and go back to Flash, and I just make a new document. I'll just do an air for Android really quick. And then if I go to control test movie, and then I choose the in-air debug launcher mobile. You can see here we have my stage, but we have the simulator right here. And that's what I was discussing before. And with the simulator, like for instance, you can see I have a 3D phone here. I can basically manipulate the phone to replicate what we're doing as if we were holding a phone. And that can be very useful. And what you'll see then is the document corresponds to the movements of the phone. If you have programmed, for instance, the accelerometer to do things on your stage. And of course you can do touch and gesture as well as geolocation and basically allows you just to simulate different functions that you would have on your phone. And that is mostly what is new in CS6. It's not so much the stuff that you'll see on the surface as it is more the stuff that's going on in the background. And I kind of did a review on Flash a while ago for my viewers and it was kind of hard to basically explain to them what was new because again, it's all under the hood. But hopefully as we progress forward with this series, you'll see the advantages to CS6 as we create our mobile games and get those ready to go.